Hey, what's up, y'all? Today I have a Surly Straggler. Uh, this is a size 52. This is not mine. This is actually a buddy of mine. And uh, he did a custom build from the frame up. And he has a very unique um, kind of combo with the flat bars. And um, we'll kind of go through his uh, specs here. Um, he has, first off, uh, some white industry rims, um, as well as uh, some white industry XMR hubs. Uh, he has a Eagle um, GX drivetrain. And um, this is a uh, 10 to 50 tooth cog with the GX rear derailleur and he has it paired with white industry g30 32 tooth um, chain ring um, 170 uh, millimeter crank length and um, he has some uh, mks always pedals connected to them and he did some cool design um, concepts here where he asked the wheel builder um, shop to kind of just do random uh, nipples of the um, anodized uh, turquoise so very cool design feature here um, he does have um, a uh, um, tubeless uh, bipede uh, valves um, one is turquoise and the front is silver there and I love this color because it has a little bit of sparkle in it and really cool design overall. He has a turquoise um, one and one eighth uh, Chris King headset and um, his cockpit consists of a Paul Clampers polished, I believe this is a 90 millimeter stem box car. Um, some white industry stem spacers that have it tapered from the top and the bottom. And a Bikes Make Me Happy top cap that he custom ordered from them. He's running a Titanium Thompson handlebar. And Spur Bell Cycle. Bell in silver or raw. He's running Paul levers. I think these are the love levers um, to go along with the Paul clampers, which are polished. He had some issues with them initially with the setup. Um, they weren't dialed in quite right. Uh, so I did some work for him, put some compressionless housing, um, kind of dialed in the uh, brakes a little bit better and uh, they definitely are working uh, much better. Um, and then he has a GX trigger shifter here, a Berthoud saddle, which is actually really comfortable, the cutout, Thompson Elite seat post, and a stock Surly seat post collar. Um, he has some SRAM um, rotors. Again, the front hub is a uh, White Industries XMR hub. And um, yeah, just an overall really killer build. And um, it rides really, really well and super fun doing flat bar. Um, let's see here. He also has so Ergon grips, they're the not the slim version, they're actually the regular size, which is actually still a little thin. Um, I think do think they make it a little bit larger. So if you have a little bit if you want a little bit larger grip, um would definitely recommend looking for something that has a little bit thicker. Um his tires that he's running is a Ventura 40 um Venture WTB Venture um 47s. The clearance on that is super tight though. You can kind of see here. Um, he's probably got uh, two millimeters on each side. 
um, and it's a little tricky because of these dropouts. You do have to kind of get them aligned and dialed in, which is what I helped helps them do, and hopefully in the long run it works. Um, but yeah, overall, um, he's probably put maybe three to four hundred miles on this thing, and he's had it for maybe three months or so, two three months. Um, again, we've had to kind of do some um, kind of post maintenance after the bike shop built it up um, and uh, kind of got it dialed in. So I'm hoping that things will be better. Um, this uh, cage actually fits a leader. Um, the, it's kind of similar to the wide foot, but it's actually, I think, a Velo Orange, Velo Orange uh, bottle cage. And then he also has some king cages, uh, stainless steel versions. Yeah, so there it is. Um, probably do a little bit of a review in the next uh, a few months or within the next year on how um, overall he likes it. Um, I think so far his feedback is that it's, it's really good. Um, he enjoys it. He's a newer rider, so he doesn't quite know exactly um, everything to compare it to but so far so good um and he can really do anything he did gmr on this um glendora mountain road in uh, los angeles and that was his first time doing it on uh, any bike so he was able to get up the mountains really good with the gx with the eagle cassette and this drive chain so yeah hopefully uh you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and uh we'll see you later bye